Uh, I've heard a few good things about Bakersfield and a few not so good things about Bakersfield. But uh, in my decision making, the good things, uh, they actually overwhelmed and uh, they completely took over the negative aspects of this town, like any other town. Uh, the community has been very supportive. The doctors in this uh, town are very supportive. Uh, and for a person like me coming and opening up my own practice, uh, it's been a cakewalk for me. Uh, the response from the community has been overwhelming. And it was true when I was uh, given this information initially that the community needs a, a neurologist. There's a, there's a dire need uh, for a neurologist in town. Uh, and it is true. Uh, the patients who have been coming into my office uh, in this time, they have been very satisfied and uh, it's, it's working pretty well. The facility at Bakersfield Heart Hospital, which is the first hospital that I got credentialed at, has been uh, not much different from where I come. I've heard things that not much equipment is available, people can't do a lot of things here, but that I found that not to be true. Uh, in conjunction with the internal medicine uh, doctors in the hospital, the radiologists in the hospital, the ER physicians, uh, between this uh, group of doctors, there's really not much that we cannot do. And I don't find that information to be correct, that we can't do much here. Just because I am trained recently and I trained at a very advanced center, uh, which is actually a, a tertiary care center with an idea that no patient gets transferred anywhere else, this is what it is. Uh, and coming from such a training, I think I can try to replicate the same phenomena here and give people the uh, excellent services for which earlier on probably they would have had to go to distant places like uh, UCLA and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, it's not static. It's an ongoing process. Like in any uh, medical field, uh, we know about 50% of the answers at this point. So there's a lot of work which needs to be done. And with the addition of technology, uh, there are a lot of things which are being taken care of. We started doing, in my, for example, in my office, uh, I'm probably the only neurologist in town who's doing procedures like uh, trigger points, like doing biopsies, uh, taking care of peripheral neuropathy, and treating stroke patients at the same time. And this is possible only with advancement in technology. Uh, nowadays, we can actually do an MRI, uh, a, f a rapid MRI for the patient in the ER, which takes about 15 minutes and that enhances the level of confidence that we have in f filtering out patients, whether somebody has a stroke and needs uh, immediate treatment, or this can be taken care of as an outpatient basis, which is a very good step towards rationalizing the resources that we have and not uh, throwing everything at everybody. You get to go to a lot of parties with different food which is available. <laughs> <laughs> and not go to the same uh, Indian style parties. <laughs> but no, apart from that, it is, it's a mix of different cultures coming together, which I think is very good in itself, yeah. that you assimilate. And it, it actually translates into my practice, that most of my practice is trying to figure out from the patient about what is going on. There, and if I know what the cultural differences are, that makes, puts me at ease with the person. And the only way to do it is to have friends who are from that same culture. For example, if there is something which you do uh, to a Japanese person, might not be very acceptable to somebody from a Chinese descent. And same thing, something which is okay for uh, a Caucasian person might not be you know, very palatable to somebody from Asian community. So you can, I think you can get to know these communities on a one-to-one -one basis and make it a habit only if you have friends. And it's been a very uh, good part of this community. It, it has helped a lot uh, in the sense that uh, it's, it's helped me more for my kids 
they have been uh, assimilated very easily into the system and they do not feel left out, they do not feel as if uh, we have come to a town where they have to start from scratch all over again, get to meet people and try to make friends. So they are getting assimilated. On top of that, what is happening is we are remaining connected to our community and our roots. Although we are living about a few thousand miles away from where we grew up, right. it doesn't feel like that we are in a different country or a different culture. What part of India are you from? Uh, we belong to a state called Punjab. It's in the northern part of India. And that's where I've grown up and my parents still live there and uh, they come and go. And the best part is I've been in the U.S. for about eight years and my father he would not come and stay with us for the very simple reason that you know, he's got no friends here, he can't drive, although he speaks English very well, yeah. he's an educated engineer, but he wouldn't have any friends, so he would feel very lonely. He would right. come, he, his, he would get his visa stamped for six months, but he would not last more than two weeks, and he would go, away, go yeah. back. This is the first time in eight years he came, helped me move, and uh, he left after about six weeks and on the airport he's, he told me that I'm going to be back here in two months. Nice. Nice. It was an educational opportunity. We are actually two brothers and my brother, is, uh, he lives in Sacramento. He's been in the United States for almost 10 years. Uh, he's a lawyer by profession and uh, we just wanted to be together. And uh, my, of course, yes, educational opportunities are much better here and I got a chance, I took it. I came to U.S., joined my residency, uh, did my fellowship, and here I am. It's been uh, a, a journey of about uh, six to eight months, right. uh, six to eight years actually. Yeah. Uh, I came and I landed first in 2008 and uh, have been, I don't see any downside to, ever, uh, to have been here ever since. And uh, of course, there's, it's been a hard journey, but uh, it's, it's been well worth it. I don't see myself going back to India in the foreseeable future. Uh, there are two reasons for that. I have worked very hard for this education that I have got and this is not comparable to any other part of the world. Yes, of course, I bring from my side uh, a lot of capability, capability to do a lot of hard work here. Mm -hmm. and. That added on with excellent education that I have had, I think it's a win-win situation. Going back uh, at this time with my kids growing up, my son is, going to, is a teenager and my daughter is 10 years of age. They are getting assimilated into the United States way of life and into the education system here. I had to parachute myself to get into this education system. They are going to be into this right from the beginning. And I don't think it's, it's fair to them to uproot them and get, it, get them into a totally different uh, way of living. Uh, I enjoy barbecuing. <laughs> and uh, I enjoy going out with friends. And uh, I enjoy uh, not being judged by what I wear around and what kind of a car I drive. It's, it's really what I, I want to do for myself. Yes, there is because I think in the 70s uh, it was a new phenomenon. People coming from outside the country uh, and coming to places where probably nobody had ever seen somebody with a different skin color. And But now, given the population here and given the number of doctors here, we, I think, have proven it over a period of few decades that if we are a physician, we are very good at that. Right. If we are engineers, we are very good at that. Hard work, education, and on top of everything, it is the commitment to being the best is, I think, what is getting us to the top and giving us more acceptance into the community. I enjoy being uh, a physician and enjoy, and I love what I do. And uh, every day is like a new day. It's a new experience. I meet new people, I look at their problems, and I'm surprised. Sometimes it's, it's all about just, being, just listening to somebody having a problem and sorting it out to them. And that's all it takes. 
and as long as you are a good listener and you know what you're doing, I look forward to every day.